What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So in the last video we were talking about this guy over here running on our test bench that we went ahead and built. Um, and we are currently running the EVGA 1060 6 gig card right now mining Ethereum. Uh, let's see right now we're right around 22, yep 22 6 ish uh, on the mega hash there. So not bad uh, for a 6 gig 1060. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and take a look at a new card that I got. Not new overall, but new to me. Uh, and that's this one here. So this is an XFX Radeon R9380X. I wanted to pick up a card that is for, you know, for, for gig. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos on that. You guys have really been enjoying those. They're more common. They're more, um, you know, inexpensive versus something like the three, you know, 3060. Um, that being said, you know, there's a lot of these out there in rotation and a lot of people buying up, you know, some of these 470s and 570s and 1650s and stuff like that, uh, and mining a lot of these altcoins on them. So I got this one in today. Uh, I did buy this one for $135, which is insane. If you thought about it, like a year ago, these went for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, you know, cause these are quite a few years old. Um, but let's go ahead, open this up, take a look at this card, and then we're going to go ahead and put it over on our test bench and see what we can do mining Ethereum. So let me go ahead and unbox this, and I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, guys, so here is our 3080X, uh, our R9 3080X uh, XFX card, um, and uh, it's in phenomenal condition. I mean, the guy literally had the original box, the original CD is in there, as well as the cables. Um, and then we do have the card here, which is in great shape, not dinged up, damaged or anything like that. Um, so it's not a super big card, but it's not like super small either. Um, that being said, it is a two six pin uh, connector on it, which is kind of odd. You don't see that very often uh, in that regard. Uh, but if I go ahead, let's compare this in size here. Like this is a single fan 1650 super. Uh, and if we compare this one, you know, as you can see, it's a little a decent size there. The, the, the thing that gets me really is the width of how skinny this is um, when it comes to, you know, versus something like this significantly wider uh, for like the 1650. And then if you look at something like here, like how about the 580? I mean, the 580 is significantly larger, but it just seems so much smaller. Like even the fans, the fans even look smaller. I don't even know what size these are versus like a traditional ones here. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, power down our current test bench on the 1060 and let's get this installed. Let's boot up on Hive OS and let's kind of see what we're getting for hash rate. Alrighty, so let's grab our card here and we're gonna bring it over to our test bench. We actually named this Mighty Mouse, uh, is what we have it set up as. Now, this is just a small UPS under it, just to help protect it. Plus, I'll be honest with you, I needed uh, the cable uh, off of this UPS, this UPS, uh, is long enough to reach all the way over to there. Um, so, that's really why I use this, it's a little bit of overkill, but uh, it does the trick. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get this in here the best I can. Trying to get you guys an angle with trying to look at it at the same time. It's really difficult. All right, card is in place. And I actually had to boot. So this actually lifts up the motherboard a bit so that, cause the way that the card ends up hitting. So I need it to be raised up. Okay, so it is uh, two six pins here. So let me go ahead and get that connected and then we'll power this on one sec. Alrighty, we are set and ready to go. Uh, we do have the monitor plugged directly into the card because with these HP motherboards, if uh, a card is detected in the PCI slot, the onboard actually no longer works. It disables it. So that is why I have it you know, plugged into it for right now. When we're mining, we won't of course have it plugged in, um, but let's go ahead here, our handy dandy little power button pulled out of the case. And that didn't work because we didn't turn on our power supply. 101 right here, man. Nothing's edited out. All right. And here we go. Oh, that's real good. Oh, that doesn't like that. All right. Let me uh, cut the camera here and see what I can figure out. Oh. Maybe. Nope. It does not like it. I will be right back. All right. So that completely threw me off. And I'll tell you guys what it was. And it's going to be a really uh, dumb moment. But... 
you know, nothing's professionally done here. We're kind of learning as we go. So when I put this card in, I must have pushed it in a little bit on an angle and you can see the clips for your memory. It, I, uh, the card had bumped those clips, pushed them down and popped the memory completely out. Like the memory was a jarred up. Hence why this was beeping because most of the time when your motherboard uh, is having memory issues or doesn't detect memory, it goes ahead and freaks out. Round three, I think. Round one was the power supply. Round two is our memory beep. Let's hope we can pull this off with round three. Have to turn the power on. <laughs> oh my word, this is crazy. All right, there we go. And let's turn it on. Okay, there we go. Hey, look at that. I like it. All right, I have to press F1 for boot. And I have to plug in the keyboard for that. One sec here, let's try to do that real quick. Everything's one-handed here. Everything's one-handed. So because, as you guys can see, uh, it actually reads chassis fan not detected, uh, the rear one, and I haven't figured out where that is in the BIOS. So if anybody knows where that is on HP, please let me know. Um, so I have to come in and do this in order to get past that boot screen here. Um, and there we go, we're booting into Hive OS. So, okay, our card is spinning, looking all good. Uh, and Hive OS is gonna go ahead and boot up. Uh, so we'll be back in just a minute over on the computer and we'll take a look and see what we see. Alrighty guys, we are over into Hive OS right now. Um, this was previously mining uh, on that 1060. So of course it's showing um, Ethereum there. This is a four gig card. So uh, we aren't able to go ahead and mine it. Well, I guess you could mine Ethereum on it with LOL miner and zombie mode. But in this situation, we're actually gonna be testing this out in Ravencoin. Um, so let's go ahead first and um, select our flight sheet. And we're gonna go ahead and set our Ravencoin one for Team Red Miner. So that is in place and good to go. Uh, in the meantime, while that's coming up, let's go ahead and go to our overclock settings. I am very curious on if we're gonna find anything out there under the popular presets, at least to get us started uh, at this point in time. Uh, but let's let's see what we can find here. Um, so Ravencoin, it's thinking. There it is. All right, cool, Radeon R9 380X. Cardinality of one. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't even know this is gonna work. We're gonna find out. Uh, okay, so this has us. Um, let's see here. Nine eighteen, a core state of four. Holy cow! And fourteen hundred. Wow, interesting. Okay, so um, while that's the case, uh, let me go ahead and go over to what to mine. And 380 is actually an option here. Now, it doesn't have the X, so, um, but I don't think that's a big deal here. So they're recommending 1,000 by 1,500, uh, interesting enough, uh, for this card. Um, so let me do a little bit of digging, actually. I want to take a pause in the video, do some digging, see what configurations I can find, and then come back in just a minute. Alrighty guys, so it actually took me a little while to scour uh, the internet and find some configurations for the 380X. Um, found a decent amount for MSI Afterburner, so that was helpful. Um, but based off of what we have here, we have one of the 380s in here. They're recommending 1,000 by 1,500, and that puts us at Kapow at 5.7. Um, now it's interesting enough when you start to look at, at kind of you know, profitability, you know, that, that's a big one. Um, so if you're looking to hodl, then you're good to go uh, with running this card. But you, as you can see, you're not making much per day here. Um, you're, you're actually taking a hit. Now, granted, it still doesn't mean not to use these cards. Uh, it just means that, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to turn a profit today or tomorrow. You can only hope that, that you're going to hit big here at some point and there's a bubble that pops. Um, so I went ahead and uh, ended up trying to use Team Red Miner and it would not work. Uh, it kept on having issues. So I finally ended up swapping over um, to uh, NB Miner and that ended up working properly. Uh, actually just swapped over and bam, we were good to go. So definitely struggling with Team uh, Red Miner there. So right now we are running stock settings. And uh, that being said, it is running a little warm, 75 uh, degrees here 
and we are getting 7.662 mega hash uh, for Kapow. So not not actually terrible, to be honest with you. Better than than what some of the averages were uh, based off of uh, what. Now this could be for the 380 versus the 380x. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, performance differences there for Kapow. Uh, taking a look at um, shell in a box here uh, with Hive OS, uh, you can see here, you know, we got some seven fives in here, pretty consistent, seven sixes in here. So looking pretty good, seven seven up here, seven eight, seven, uh, seven seven. So we're looking pretty good. You know, it looks like our highest so far, 7.79. So very, very close there. So my next step is to go ahead and uh, try out some overclock settings. Uh, and see, I mean, granted, look at our watts though, 150 watts, holy cow. Way too high if you're considering this for mining. So we're gonna try 1150. Uh, we're gonna set our core state to four. It is in an RX card, so we're not running uh, a one. And on memory clock, we're gonna run 1600. Uh, and then our fan speeds, we're gonna bump up. Right now it's at 49%. We're gonna bump it up to 70. Uh, and we're gonna do some aggressive undervolting there. So let's go ahead and apply this. And I'll be back in a minute to see exactly what we get. Alrighty, so I played around with the configuration a little bit. Uh, the settings that we were using um, definitely dropped down our mega hash. So, but the downside is is that um, you know we were up way up on on wattage. So I found a kind of a a good median here. Um, you know, when you are configuring your cards and overclocking them, you know, as you bring down the wattage you know, you are going to sacrifice some of your mega hash uh, and your hash rate. So you kind of have to find that happy median. Uh, unfortunately, with a card like this, um, you know, 112 is the best I could really get uh, without sacrificing too much hash rate. Um, so what we ended up doing, we did a thousand on our core clock. Uh, we did four for our core state and we brought our voltage down to 825. Um, as well as our memory clock at 15. That seemed to do pretty good across the board uh, and work out for us. I mean, that got us down. We're at, we're at 6.582 mega hash here, last reported on Kapow. And uh, we're about 112 watts. I like to have my cards as close as, uh, to 100 as possible, but that does vary on the efficiency of the cards themselves. So not too, too bad. Um, you know, took a, this took a lot longer than I expected to troubleshoot this uh, and get this working. I thought we'd just be bam, bam, bam. But with an older card like this, it's going to be a little bit different. So... We're, we're here, you know, six and a half mega hash uh, on Kapow running NB miner uh, is doing the trick here for our R380X. Um, so not too, too shabby at the end of the day. Uh, I feel like this is very similar to where we were with the uh, 970s. I think the 970s, we were up around seven, eight, nine, maybe, maybe, no, maybe not even nine, maybe more like seven uh, based off of our, of our, um, overclock settings there for the 970s that we did test very early on in this channel's uh, infancy. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump over to the camera and recap. Alrighty guys, so you know, we do have the XFX R9380X here, a lot of X's, <laughs> four gig card. Uh, so as we talked about, NB minor, uh, we're right about three and a half, maybe a little bit more mega hash on Kapow. Uh, the the watts are a little high for me, so I'm going to play around with the configuration a little bit more and see, you know, if we can get any better there, get that wattage down a little bit more just to be more efficient overall. Uh, you know, that's always the goal as a miner uh, in this situation. Other than that, guys, leave me a comment. Did you own one of these back in the day, the 380X or one of the R9s? Do you own one now? Are you currently mining with one of these? Uh, what is your oldest card that you have mined with? To date i'm really interested to hear like who's still running a dinosaur out there other than that guys don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and click subscribe to be notified when the next video drops and take a look at that just as we say that is it going to focus seven we hit seven woo all right guys have a good one take care